English in Singapore, a deep dive into policy. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the heart of Singapore, uncovering the intricacies of its English language policy. Singapore offers a unique perspective on English, blending its colonial past with modern aspirations. Understanding this policy will offer invaluable insights into the dynamics of English language education in the city-state. Singapore's relationship with the English language dates back to its colonial era under British rule. This tiny island, with its multiracial and multilingual population, saw English as a neutral bridge among its ethnic groups, including Malays, Chinese, and Indians. Introduced in 1966, Singapore's bilingual policy mandates that students learn both English and their respective mother tongues. English became the primary medium of instruction in schools and was seen as essential for global communication and business, while mother tongues, like Mandarin, Malay, and Tamil, maintained cultural heritage. English in Singapore serves not just as an educational tool but as the lingua franca, facilitating communication among its diverse population. This role of English has helped in fostering national unity and ensuring effective communication in both public and private sectors. Recognizing the importance of standard English over colloquial versions, often referred to as Singlish, the government initiated the Speak Good English movement in 2000. This movement emphasizes the importance of speaking and writing in standard English for clearer communication, especially in formal settings. English continues to play a dominant role in Singapore's education system and daily life. With the global digital economy and the rise of regional collaborations, proficiency in English is more critical than ever. However, there's a continuous effort to balance this global language with the rich tapestry of local languages and cultures. Singapore's journey with the English language offers a fascinating case study of how a nation can mold a colonial legacy into a potent tool for the future. It's a testament to the country's foresight in recognizing the power of language in nation building. We hope this deep dive has given you a clearer understanding of Singapore's English language policy. Stay curious and keep exploring the world of languages.